Alrighty. Hole one, Graysburg Hills. First hole for us. Chimney top. Good hit right down the fairway. All right, here we are on hole one, Graysburg Hills, chimney top. Chris Pohl has just center cut one. Gavin is 220 yards, aiming it down the left-hand side of the fairway. And he has hit an absolute wow. monster wow. right down the middle, exactly where he was aimed. That was pretty. All right, hole one, Graysburg Hills, chimney top. Scratch Gopher is hitting after Gavin just busted one. And he has hit a nice one down the right-hand side, and it is hovering the cart path. You're going to have two options at two different angles. Howdy, hole two, chimney top. 500 yards. 500 yard prop, par five. Forgot to mention that. Both teams got pars on the last hole. I don't think I want to call you a golf guru for that. I don't think so. All right, here we are in hole two, chimney top, Graysburg Hills. Hole is playing 400 yard par five for these guys. Chris Pohl just put one off to the right, maybe out of bounds. So advantage Gavin and Paul Paul. But like, I, like Gavin said, they both had pars on the first hole, so it's an even match. Gavin has also blocked it to the right, but he's coming back a little bit. He's going to be off to the right, so Pawpaw needs a good drive. All righty, hole two. Chimney top, 400 yards. Gavin is off to the right. Chris Pohl is off to the right. And Pawpaw has hit it down the middle, but he's kind of topped it, but he is down the fairway. It's a three-shot hole anyway. All righty, hole number three, chimney top, 173 yards into the wind. Two pars on the last hole. Another two pars on the last hole. Walked it a bit right. On the back. All right, hole three at Chimney Top. It's playing about 95 yards up the hill into the wind. So Gavin's has gone with the uh, hybrid stick. Might be too much stick. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's kind of hit a low knockdown shot. It's running up, but it's going to come up a little bit short. Yeah, it probably needed a little bit more juice than that. Paul Paul is up 95 yards up the hill. And he's hit it all day. This might be a great golf shot. Oh, it's come up just short. Has spun back. What a good shot that got robbed. All righty, hole number four. Chimney top. Change it up. It's uh, 474 now. Okay. 474. Yeah, so the last hole, Pawpaw drained about a 25 footer for par to win the hole, so they are up one on me right now. Now we're on a par five, number four, down the hill, it's playing 475, is that what I said? Mm -hmm. 475, it's a long drive contest, so when we get down to our shots, I'm gonna tell you how many yards I have left, so we can do the math on how far it was, and we'll do it for them too. You actually said 474. 474, but... well, let me do it again. 477. Can you get your mask down? We're using 477 now. He's blocked it a bit left. All right, Paw Paw on hole four chimney top. Hole is playing 408. Okay, he needs a big tee ball here. It's downhill. Somebody's just got to hit a solid one and they're going to win it. And he has hit one off to the right. This one is in the trees off to the right. 
Nobody hit good tee balls. Well, Gavin's going to try to step on this. It's 135 carry all the way over. I don't Stop know. making me nervous. He says he could do it, but I'm thinking no nope, when he says the chicks dig it. And he's at that low and in the water. Big man here got a par. Right. We're on hole five. It's playing about 250. Playing about 2250, maybe 2 2. All right, Gavin is aiming it down the middle of the fairway. We've not really hit a lot of good tee balls lately. This is a good time to get started back with momentum. And he's hit it down the right hand side with a draw. This should be real nice, Clark. Real Hi, nice. Peter. Last hole. Big what boy. happened on the last hole? Uh, uh, you took a victory. Me what? You took a victory. Yeah, what happened? What happened? I, I, I can't remember. I think you got a three and we got a five maybe. Yeah, but how did I get a three? Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, you made a about a 30 foot chip in. All right, this is playing about 405 yards. Wow. Par four. Ouch. Can you not hit one straight? You, you hit him straight. All right, hole six, playing 295 yards. Gavin Bailey's bringing out the driver. It's pretty wide open tee ball. So can absolutely unleash it and probably get a little bit of roll, although there is a uh, little slope down there that goes into the rough. So I don't know how far you can go before that happens, but he's bringing up the uh, shoulder sleeves. He looks like he's wanting to hit this one hard. So let's see what you got, big dog. Mm. Good, good little, good little practice swing right there. All right, hit you a good one here. Everybody on camera wants to see something big. Nobody wants to see some 130 off the tee. You got some wind help behind you. This should give you a little extra juice. Yeah, it's going to hit right into that tree right there. Nick. The band that came off, and I had to hold it while I was swinging. That's a good balance shot. Right, Pawpaw, after Gavin just uh, pulled one straight left. We'll talk about that. Hey, me, 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 me. All right, Paul Paul, bust one out there. And he did. Thank you. He did. Puts it down the right hand side of the fairway. Belt out, Gavin, again. All right, Gavin has got a flop shot from there over the bunker. So it's probably about 30 yards, but it's going to be a tough one because it's going to be all flop. No running it up. So he's going to have to do something special with it. I figured why not just put it on camera and see if he's got it because we practiced this. He's got the skills. Whether he executes, that's another thing. And he's chucked it. Chucked it right in the beach. Might as well just see Pawpaw do it. See if Pawpaw can bail him out again. And he's done the same thing. Hole number seven, chimney top. Not bad. All right, here we're on hole seven. It's about two twenty five. Par four, water in front of the green. Gavin's gonna aim it down the right hand side. And he's hit it down the right hand side. A little draw, cause it kick left. Yes, it does. 
middle of the fairway. Good drive. Right, Paul Paul shot on hole seven. And he's hit it down the right hand side, but this time it's going towards the bunker. He's just left of the bunker over there. He's going to be taking calves. Downhill, 130 yards. Let's see what Big Bud can do. I'm going to have to get all of this one. I can throw this thing past the hole with a little bit of a draw. I mean, a little bit of back. He's hit it down the left hand side. And. Oh, it stayed on the green, surprisingly. It's coming back a bit. 116 yards down the hill this is not going to be an easy golf shot but can he make something happen no in the water all righty hole number eight 250 yards going for the green oh boy He's wanting a big boy. He's aiming at the fence if you want to know that. Never mind. <laughs> Incentive package alert. Incentive package alert. Hole number eight. Two holes to play. Here comes the incentive package. Gavin's got to play his own ball in. If you make um ball, par um ball, um ball. on this hole, mm -hmm. you get 20 bucks. If you make birdie, you get 50 bucks. Where we hit to the right of the tree. What trees. else? An eagle. Well, let's, let's, we'll talk about that what, if you get there. What par is this? Par four, 250 yards, so. What if I got an albatross on a par? Well, let's. Stick within your limits. Uh, right, this side of the trees. Uh, yeah, I would aim it off to the right. Some guy. It goes. It goes. It go, dog leg right. Okay. There we go. All right. Now he's starting to get where he needs to be. All right. So, good drive to get it started. And he did. He hit it right down the middle. All right, that's a good start for Gav. All right, Paw Paw. Hole number eight, playing 250 yards. Gavin has hit it right down the middle. Let's see if Paw Paw can do the same. Yes, he does. He's down the right hand side, but it should come down the hill. He should be in great shape. There's Gavin with his courtesy water drink. He's chugging it down. All righty, Gavin's got his incentive package. He actually hit the ball too far. He's now got some trees hanging. So now he's got 70 yards. He's got to go low. He's got to figure out a way to get this thing all the way there. And he's chunked it. But he's going to be right in front of the sand, so it's going to really come down to it. Up and down out of the, right in front of the bunker. All right, so 30-yard chip shot. It comes down to this. If he knocks it in the hole, he gets 50 bucks. If he gets it up and down, he gets 20. So all that practice, let's see if it can pay off. That backyard practice, those late nights at the driving range. All right, let's see what you got. It's going to come down to this shot. You had to make it sound dramatic. I right? did try to make that dramatic. And not bad. It's a little left, but it looks like he's going to give himself a putt for par, if you can see it right there. So probably got him about 30 foot for par. Hole number eight. There's Eric Bailey's drive, a.k.a. Chris Paul. He's hit it. And look at that shot. Oh, yeah. That is really good right there. Textbook. All right, here is Gavin's attempt for par. He says he has got it red. If he knocks it down, he makes 20. 
bucks. Let's see what he does. He's gonna come up short. For 20 bucks, he left it short. Paul Paul's attempt for birdie on hole eight. Give it to him. He left it on the weak side. Come on, Paul Paul. You and Gavin. I got it in there. I got it in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it. I think it, it's he hit it way long. Alrighty, but we're birdie. Whoa. Oh. That ain't a <laughs> gimme. That ain't a gimme. Alrighty. Final hole, hole number nine, chimney top. I'm going to make a hole in one here. This is going to be the prettiest he golf He says course. he's going to make a hole in one, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think he... Mm, there ain't oh, no... It's, go, it's all over it, though. Oh, wow. Got a chance. All right, Gavin needs to get it up and down. About a 25 yard chip shot. And that is not gonna get it done. You have to make it for 20 now. Now you have to make it for 20. All right, now he's gotta chip it in. Right there. If he wants 20 bucks. He's chipped it and he's pulled it to the left. Not a bad little chip shot, but not gonna get him 20. All right, Gavin's bogey putt on the final hole. Can he close it out strong? He left that short.